What's up? What's up? This is your man TC. Happy Friday, everybody. I just want to let you know that you are destined for greatness. We are getting into 2020, and I want you to know I hope you are pumped up this year. I hope you are pumped up early this year. I hope you have some dreams and some goals. I hope this year is going to be the year that you go after your dreams, that you go after your destiny. I want you to know to dream big in 2020. I want you to set goals. I want you to set miscues. I want you to make one decision at a time, and I want want you to take one step at a time. I'm happy to be here. I don't know about you, but there was a time where I was not happy. There was a time when I was depressed, but I have joy and I am happy and I'm going after my dreams. And before I go any further, I want to tell all the whole world, I want, I'm getting messages. It's exciting you all. I realize I'm doing something. This is my passion. This is my love being a motivational speaker. I am literally getting messages from people all over the world. People from all over the world are telling me that my motivational speaking is changing their lives. That because of my daily videos, people are going after their dreams. They're coming out of depression. They're getting healed. They're going after their dreams. Because of my motivational videos, I'm getting messages from people uh, wanting to book me to speak because of my motivational videos. I am excited. I am so glad that my motivational videos are changing your life. And I want to thank you, you all, for supporting me as a motivational speaker. And I love you. Yes, I want to tell you this. There is an awesome word on today. This word today is going to change your life. I want to tell you this. In order to stay motivated. Watch this. I'm excited, y'all. In order to stay motivated, you must develop an imagination. That's the key, y'all. In order to stay motivated. Because I know sometimes, sometimes maybe you are motivated one day. Maybe you're motivated two days. Maybe you're motivated on Monday. You're motivated on Tuesday. You're motivated on Wednesday, Thursday. But maybe next week you're not motivated. Maybe some days you're motivated. But maybe some days you're not motivated. I'm going to tell you how to stay motivated. This is how you stay motivated. In order to stay motivated, you must do this. You must develop an imagination because your mind is the limit. In order to stay pumped up, in order to keep grinding, in order to keep going whenever you fail, in order to keep going when you're depressed because some days you're not going to feel motivated. Some days you're not going to feel happy. There are going to be times you're going to be sad. There are going to be times you're going to feel depressed. But in order to stay motivated, you must develop an imagination. What do you mean by that? We as humans have the gift. Watch this. We as humans have the gift to see it before it actually happens. That's the beauty of a mind. That's the beauty of having a human mind. That's the beauty of having an imagination. And that's what you got to do. You got to imagine yourself accomplishing your dreams. You got to imagine yourself going after your dreams. You got to have an imagination. You must see yourself winning that Super Bowl. I'm going to say that again. You must see yourself winning that Super Bowl. You must see yourself winning that NBA championship. You must see yourself in Major League Baseball. You must see yourself winning that World Series. You must see yourself winning that World Cup. You must see yourself starting that business. You must see yourself going to college. You must see yourself graduating high school. You must see yourself getting that promotion on your job. You must see yourself becoming whatever it is that you want to be. You must have an imagination. And if you're going to stay motivated the key is you must have an imagination. This is what I want you to do in your imagination. Number two, in your imagination, you must go deep into your future and see yourself winning and accomplishing your dreams. I'm going to say that again. You must go deep into your future and you must see yourself winning and accomplishing your dreams. You must imagine yourself being successful in your future. You must imagine yourself and start acting like you
you are in your future. Because I'm going to tell you this. There is nothing but greatness in your future. There is nothing but success in your future. So you must see yourself go deep into your future right now and see yourself winning and accomplishing your dream. Stop focusing on your past and live in your future and use your imagination to see yourself where you want to be. When you fail, get back up and keep trying. You got to see yourself where you want to be. And when you fail, you got to get back up and keep trying. Whenever you're in high school and you flunk that test, take it again. Whenever you're, whenever you're in college, you're not making good grades and you failed that class, don't be afraid to not take it again. Take it again because when you take this when you take that class again, you're not you're not going to start at the beginning. You're going to start where you left off and you're going to have a greater understanding of that same class that you failed when you take it again. Maybe you flunked out of college Get back in college. Maybe you got cut from the team. Try out again. Anything is possible. Maybe you don't have the money. Maybe you don't have the money to start the business. Maybe you don't have a scholarship to go to college. Go to college. Get that scholarship. Get that academic scholarship. Get that sports scholarship. Become a lawyer. Become a doctor. Become a CEO. Get that promotion on your job. Fulfill your dreams. You must develop an imagination. That is the only way you're going to stay motivated is you must use your mind to imagine because you have the ability with the as with the human mind to have an imagination so it is your imagination that's going to take you to the next level so you got to imagine yourself and see yourself where you want to be before it actually happens in the natural. See yourself winning the Super Bowl. See yourself going to the playoffs. See yourself going to the NCAA championship. See yourself, see yourself winning the World Series. See yourself winning the World Cup. See yourself starting that business. See yourself accomplishing your dreams. You can do it. You can do it. You can achieve it. And you can have it. And today's message is going to change your life. I promise you, this message is going to change your life. And I'm going to share my story with you because I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be alive. I'm not supposed to be doing this. But I am here and I am grateful. Once again, I want to say this. I am grateful for all the messages that I'm getting that you all are telling me that my motivational videos are changing your lives. And I want to thank you for all the uh, people that are contacting me wanting to book me to speak. I thank you for wanting me to come and speak at your organizations. I'm humbled and honored that my motivational videos and my story has touched you to want to book me to speak. I thank you for that. Today's message, let's go ahead and get right into it. Today's message is when you have nothing left. Because there are times in your life, this life, I want to say this, watch this, this life has the ability of sucking the life out of you. This life has the ability to drain you at times. There are ups and downs in lives. There's a time to cry. There's a time to rejoice. There's a time to be happy. Life has a way. It's like a roller coaster ride when it comes to life. And so this message today it's, it's just going to help you. It's going to change your life. It's going to help those who are struggling. It's going to help those who are at rock bottom. It's going to help those who have dreams. It's going to help those who are depressed. It's going to help you go to the next level. When you have nothing left. Principle number one. When you have nothing left. That's what I want you to do. When you have nothing left. When you get to rock bottom, when you are at rock bottom, when you have no more energy, when you're depressed, when you're going through, whenever you're suffering, whenever you're grieving, whenever you're sad, whenever you're at rock bottom, whenever you whenever you fail and made mistakes, when you have nothing left, that's when I that's that's the place to get to. Because when you have when you hit rock bottom, the only way to, to, to go next is up. 
So I'm speaking to somebody that has nothing left. I'm speaking to somebody that's struggling. I'm speaking to somebody that's given up on life. I'm speaking to somebody that has failed in life. I'm telling you, when you have nothing left, use your imagination. Because your imagination has the ability to cause you to, in your mind, be where you can be in the natural. So as you imagine, I want you to, watch this, first principle, I want you to imagine yourself being successful. I want you to imagine yourself becoming great. I want you to imagine yourself achieving your dreams, even while I'm speaking now. Come on, look into the camera and look into my eyes, and I want you to tell yourself this. I have nothing left, but I'm not going to quit. I have nothing left, but I'm going to keep trying. I have nothing left, but I'm not going to give up on life. Principle number two. When you get to a place of enough is enough, then you are ready for greatness. Maybe some of you are in toxic relationships. Maybe you guys are in negative relationships to where that person is pulling you down. They're keeping you from doing the right thing. Maybe you're in a negative environment. Maybe you grew up in a dysfunctional family. Maybe you grew up with a single mother. Maybe you, you're dealing with depression. You have a bad past. You made a lot of mistakes and you're not doing anything with your life. But when you get to a place where you say enough is enough, I'm tired of being where I am. I'm tired of making these decisions. I'm tired of making the wrong decisions. I'm tired of failing. I'm tired of quitting. Enough is enough. And now I'm going to make it up in my mind that I'm going to do something with my life. When you have nothing left. Principle number three. When you hit rock bottom. I'm talking slow for a reason. When you hit rock bottom. Then that's when doors will start to open. I'm going to tell you that. When you get so low in life, so, let me tell you something. There are a lot of you, you are grinding. You are putting in 120%. You are fighting. You are going after your dreams. You are trying to achieve your goals. But it seems like you keep failing. It seems like you keep getting knocked back. But I want to tell you, when you hit rock bottom, when you're grinding until you cannot grind anymore, and when you feel like giving up, that's when doors are going to open. Principle number four. Watch this. This is an important principle. Listen to me very closely. When you find the energy you need when you have no more energy, then doors will open. When you find the energy you need when you have no more energy, then that's when doors will start to open. What do you mean by that? Because there are a lot of you, you've been working so hard for a long time, and it seems like doors are not opening. It seems like nothing great is happening for you. You're putting in 120%, but it seems like you're getting weary. You're getting tired because you don't see any results. You don't seem like you're being successful, but that's the key. When you have energy and you have no more energy left, Keep grinding because when it gets harder, when it gets harder, that is confirmation that you're getting closer to your greatness. That's confirmation that you're getting close to your success. Principle number five. When you run out of breath and you are fighting to breathe is when doors will open. I'm going to say that again. When you run out of breath and you are fighting to breathe is when doors will open. When Dr. Eric Thomas says it best, the greatest motivational speaker, when you want to succeed, I'm excited, y'all. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I'm going to say that again. When you want to succeed, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I want to tell you, without breath, you cannot survive. Without breath, you cannot live. So I want you to want, I want you to want success so much as you want to breathe. Because when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. When, when you have nothing left, Principle number six, 
When you are grinding and nothing is working and you want to quit is when doors will open. Let me tell you my story. I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout middle school and high school. When you have nothing left, when I got to high school, I made bad grades. I made a lot of wrong decisions. And my high school teacher, she said, Tommy, you would not go to college. She said, you're not smart enough to go to college. She said, you would not even... She said, you would not even graduate high school. I looked at her. I said, ma'am, no offense. I said, I will graduate high school. And I said, I will go to college. And I said, I am smart enough to go to college. Then in 2009, I became homeless and living on the streets and begging for food. And I'm going to share this. Even when I got into college, there was a time where I flunked out of college. And it seemed like I wasn't going to get back into college. And, and then I was shot three times. I was shot in the back of my head, I was shot in my stomach, and I was shot in my groin area. And when I got to the hospital, I was pronounced dead, and they gave up on me. And then I was on life support for seven days. And then when I got out of the hospital and started recovering, I went back in college, I got my bachelor's degree, I got my master's degree, I got my doctoral degree, and I graduated in academic excellence. And now I'm a published author, and I'm a motivational speaker, and now I'm changing people's lives. And I thank you so much for believing in me. When you have nothing left, it seemed like in my life, in my life when I flunked first grade, when I barely graduated high school, when I became homeless, when I was shot three times, when I had nothing left. I didn't, when I was going through that, there was a time I didn't even want to live. So many people turned their back on me. I experienced rejection, abandonment, and I didn't even want to live. When you have nothing left, just when I had nothing left, when I looked at my life, I said enough is enough. I said I will go to college. I said I will live from these gunshot wounds. I said I will be a motivational speaker. I said I will change lives. I said I will be a published author. When you have nothing left, that's what I want to tell you. When you are grinding and nothing is working and you want to quit in life is when doors are open. Just when you realize you want to quit because you've been grinding so hard, you've been giving 120% and you're not getting any quick results. So just when that happens is when doors will start to open. Principle number seven, it's when you are in deep fear. Watch this. It's when you are in deep fear, deep depression, and you find a way to keep going is when doors will open. I'm going to say that again. It's when you are in your most scariest moment. It's when you are in your scariest moment. Because I'm going to tell you this. When you're going after your dreams, whenever you're going after success, there are not going to be many people around you. You're going to have people that are not going to believe in you. You're going to have people that are, that are going to tell you you can't do it. They're going to be they're going to be people who are going to laugh at you. They're going to say, oh, he's not going to do it. She's not going to do it. But you got to become self-motivated and you got to get it get, get it in your spirit and say when I have nothing left is when I'm going to step up my grind you're going to increase your work performance you're going to take it to another level when you don't see any quick results you're going to keep grinding you're going to keep hustling you're going to keep going after it principle number eight when you have given it your all that's what I'm going to say when you have given it your all and there is nothing left. All you have to do is face the challenge and doors will start to open. I flunked the first grade. I barely graduated high school. I was bullied in school. I was picked on. I, 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 I was homeless in 2009. I had got shot three times. It seemed like my life was over. But look at me now. When you have nothing left. When you have given it your all and there is nothing left, all you have to do is face the challenge and doors will start to open. Principle number nine, as I close, I grind and I can't quit because of my wife and my children. And also, I grind because of you all. I'm getting messages from people all over the world that want me to come and speak. They want to book me to speak. You're 
People from all over the world are telling me that my messages are changing your lives. This is why I keep doing what I'm doing. This is my passion. I want to be an asset. I want to be a servant. And that's what I want you to be. You have to understand your value. If you're going to become successful, if you're going to become great, you must understand who you are. You must get to a place to where you figure out who you are. Because no one can become great and successful until you understand you're valuable, until you realize who you are. I am here for you all. I do this for you all. If you all's dreams come true, then I'm happy. If your dreams come true, then that makes me happy. And I have done my job, and you all will become a success and become great, that's what makes me happy. Then I've done my job as a motivational speaker. I'm going to say that again. When you all's dreams come true, when your dreams come true because of my messages, when you all become great and successful, then that's what makes me happy when I see you all successful. And that's what makes my dreams come true when I see your dreams come true. And that makes me realize that I have done my job as a motivational speaker. Speaker, I want to tell you, when you have nothing left, that's when you keep pressing. That's what I want to close the talk about, pressing. you got to keep pressing. Just like in football, when the running back is running the ball and he gets tackled before the line of scrimmage, he falls forward, not backwards, but he falls forward to try and get the first down or either to try and get the touchdown. And that's what you got to do. When life tackles you, when life hits you, when you're depressed, when you're struggling, when you say enough is enough, when you have nothing left, that's when you got to put in overtime. You got to increase your workload. You got to increase your work. You got to go to the next level. You got to keep putting in 120%. You got to keep going. You got to use your imagination. Whenever you don't feel motivated, whenever you don't feel like going after your dreams, whenever you don't feel like starting that business, when you don't feel like going pro, that's when you got to wake up and say, I'm going to use my imagination and I'm going to imagine myself where I want to be. You got to let go of the past. You got to let go of your mistakes. You got to let go of your failures. And you got to get it in your mind that I'm not going to let what I've been through, I'm not going to let what I'm going through, I'm not going to let my past, I'm not going to let my depression, I'm not going to let my mistakes, I'm not going to let my failures hinder me from going to the next level. You're not going to let what happened to you hinder you from becoming great and successful. I could have easily gave up on life after what I've been through. But I made a choice to become self-motivated. I made a choice to fall in love with myself. And I made the choice to say this. I'm going to use everything negative that happened to me as fuel and motivation to become successful and do something great with my life. So I'm using my story. I'm using my motivational speaking to help you. And I want to tell the whole wide world. I want to tell the world that I love you. I want to tell the world I believe in you. I know you can do it. You can make it to the NBA. You can make it to the NFL. You can make it to the Major League Baseball. You can make it to the World Series. You can make it to the World Cup. You can make it to the Super Bowl. You can make it to the NBA Finals. You can make it to the National Football Championship. You can make it to the National Basketball Championship. You can become that soccer player, baseball player, whatever you want to be. You can be a CEO of a company. You can be a startup, start your own business. You can be a real estate owner. You can be an IT. You can be an architecture. You can be an actor, a doctor, or a lawyer, or a tennis player, or a musician, or, or a singer. Whatever you want to be, when you have nothing left, that's when you got to step it up and use your imagination and go to the next level. I love you. I believe in you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I just wrote this book titled Dream Big. 
please go on Amazon and type in Dream Big and then type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. The Amazon Kindle was $5 and the Amazon paperback is $9. This book is changing people's lives. Dream big. That's what I want you to do in 2020. I want you to dream big. I want you to use your imagination. I want you to go deep into your future within your imagination because your mind is the limit. See yourself being successful. See yourself accomplishing your dreams. See it in your mind before it happens in reality. See it in your mind before it happens in the natural. See it in your mind before you see it in manifestation. Become positive. You cannot be negative. You gotta stop being negative. You gotta be positive. And when you're around negative people, don't allow those negative people to cause you to be negative. Remain positive. If they tell you you can't do it, don't receive it. You can do it. You can be anything you put your mind to. You can make the impossible possible. I love you and thank you. That is my time.